Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy EG Fay here, and this is a little video to show you like my basic gaming equipment that I really use for gaming for Xbox One. I haven't really spent much that much money on the Xbox One yet. Only games I probably have bought brought was probably Destiny and Advanced Warfare, and uh, the other game was Warframe. And when I'm on Black Ops 2, when I'm gaming. Like, most, most of the time, I use my speaker TVs. Like, the X, this mic I got on right now, look, I'm about to show y'all. Real piece of crap, guys. Like, this mic right here, this mic right here, it sucks. Like, it literally sucks. Like, you can't hear a game, game here. I kind of supposed to hear people behind me, but anyway... Since the footsteps and boost jumps and advanced warfare is so loud, I turn up my TV like to 50 and I can hear them because I have an LG flat screen and that has like really good sound quality. So when they're jumping up and I turn my TV up, I can hear them because this is going to be really easy for it right now. And the controller, the controller that I use right here, wait, let's see, uh, all right, this can. This controller that I use, um, I don't know why it looks like it has a blue LED light. It's just a regular Xbox controller. Just control freaks. Like I like these control freaks. I like to use them. They're really good to me and everything like that. No scuff paddles or anything. My thing is about to die currently right now. But no scuff paddles, no trigger stops, no nothing. But that's my controller, guys. But Anyway, I would like to tell you about this. I'm going to do some more gameplay videos. I'm uploading three, no, two more videos today after this one. And I'm doing a class set of videos, guys. Class set of videos through the bow, through anything. And they're all going to be about Major League Gaming or Major uh, what's it called? Game Battles. My fault. GameBattles.com. But they're for the tournaments. These are tournament guns that's really OP and really out of, out of like OP like I never would believe. But the HBR, I wouldn't believe it was OP because you're not allowed to use variants in the tournament. But the regular HBR A3 is so OP. I think I dropped the yeah I remember I dropped the dirty bomb in here because it's like after this I just recorded it and I'm about, and in the video I did a voiceover so in here I'll probably drop like a 30 or 40 bomb in here because i'm doing this before i do the uh, the overlay of me talking over the video right now but anyway this gun is really good and i'm gonna show y'all some of the attachments to put on it and i'm gonna do class set of videos in this like in this video and like not in this video and then in some future videos but this is like some of the best classes i'm gonna show you some of the best classes to use for for tournaments because you're not allowed to use you're not, you're not, you're not allowed to use overkill, variants, and a couple of other stuff that they bent, but it's all good. It's all good, guys. Like, I hated it too, but anyway, I think not using variants makes you better. Because if you can use non-variance guns and you wreck people as good as they wreck you with variance guns, Pull out the variants on them, and I bet you they'll lose. Bet you they'll lose most of their gunfights with you. Because practice with non-variant non weapons, and you'll get better. Better eventually. Alright, I'm out. I'm EG Fate, and like and subscribe to this video. This is going to be a gameplay about the HBR. Have fun watching it. What up guys, it's your boy EG Fate. As you know, I did a little intro before I went into this video, but anyway, we're going in it right now and we're gonna use this HBR and see how it is done. Yeah, I'm classes I got. I don't even know what to do with half of them. Pretty sure nobody's gonna create like like that many classes. Like that is way too many classes. But let's see how I do in this video. I forget this, I recorded it like I think it was two, three days ago, maybe. My bad, I've been slacking, I've been slacking. Ah! Maybe I should, maybe, maybe I should have looked over this video before I sent it to y'all, because I ain't mean it. I don't think I want to show y'all I got punched in the first one. That looks terrible. That looks terrible. 
Look, look how fast that guy got melted. What was that, like three, four, five shots? I'm not using extended mags on this gun, guys. Like, I will show you how to class it up, like, towards the end of this video, but this gun is so amazing. I just had to put it on here. Look at it. It's just melting people left and right. Look at it, guys. I think the right up and die. Yeah, I shouldn't have challenged that. I should have just got out of there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 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 oh drop shot him. But well, guys, okay. If you if you would like to actually do tournaments, do one v one tournaments, like if you wanted to by yourself, or two v two if you got teammates that like want to do it. Ask somebody that know about it, maybe. Maybe they would know. But I'm about to tell y'all right now how y'all can get started the fastest way. First of all, when you're when you want to start up a tournament, you have to create an account for it. Whether it's umggaming.com, that's one of the sites I, I preferly use. But when you use one of them sites, you have to pay. You have to automatically pay for the game, unless you got premium or well, yeah, premium. If you got premium, uh, I think it's premium or platinum. If you got one of those, I think it's yeah, premium or platinum. But if you get one of those, you have to play pay monthly. I think on it. Or you can just buy credits and start the game. I think you earn credits from it. But if you got premium, you get to play free games without credits. And the ones that you do got to pay for credits, that's the ones you got to pay for. So either way, you got to pay for it to enter in the tournament. That's how they make their money, guys. You can't just join a uh, tournament for free and expect that they're just going to give you money straight out of their pockets. Like, that ain't how it works, guys. You got to, if you pay them, that's how you basically get your money for it. That you basically get your money's worth for it. But anyway, if you want to start it up, go to umggaming.com. Set up your account. You gotta set up a credit card or PayPal, and you either have to buy platinum. Pla yeah, yeah, you either have to buy platinum or buy some credits. You can go look on there before you even start a startup buying the credits, because you have to access your account, like link your account through like most of the stuff, like. YouTube, Twitch, or anything like that. Put a credit card on your account through the settings and put like a PayPal or just a regular credit card as usual. And that was what you had to do to set up a tournament. You, if you want platinum, you had to pay monthly. If you want credits, you had to get a certain amount of credits for a tournament. It will say it before you enter in the tournament how many credits you will need. And anyway, guys, I'm like start, starting. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to upload class setup videos, and I'm going to do a gameplay with the class setup. Currently in the tournaments now for AW, they've banned Overkill, IMR, so they're not allowed. L and variants. You can't use variants at all, guys. I know that seems like a bummer to some of you, but it's actually good because if you can melt people without variants... And if they're, you're keeping up with them when they're using variants and you're beating the hell out of them without variants, put on a variant they're, that they're using and I bet you, you will wreck them. Wreck them every single time. But anyway, in this gameplay, I was talking about the HBR. I thought the HBR was crap because it didn't seem that strong. But I automatically forgot that they did do an update with the guns and the HBR was on top of the list for an update. So when it when it was updating, the insanity like was strong as hell. It didn't used to be that strong, but now it is. But I don't like the iron sight on this gun. The iron sight to me on the thing is like too like like bulky like it looks like it's taking up your whole screen as whereas like where the asm1 is just like one little like needle point needle point sight on there i like those kind of sights they really get me if i'm not good if i'm not good with a sight on a like, iron sight on the gun i'm gonna I'm put a red dot on it yeah that guy try to go invisible but 
Anyway, towards the end of this video, I'm a uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you the class setup that I use for this video. There you go, guys. So close, so close to Grandmaster. There you go. Last kill. Let's get it. Let's see what I went in this game, though. Let Let's see what I learned in this game. Y'all like my little emblem of TP? I mean, not not TP. P PT Pro Tactics. I ain't know how I was really gonna put the P, so I just put the T over top of the P. But it's still a good either way. You still get it. 36 and 11. With that gun. That gun is good. Good as hell. I love that gun so much. It's one of my favorite guns now. I use it when I'm playing rank play, and I use I use it when I'm playing rank play because rank play is my practice. That's my practice league right there. And I am about to show y'all the class for that gun. That is the class. Red dot, force grip, quick draw, lightweight, blind eye, scavenger, and I think the other one was, hmm, what was the other one? Actually, I forget the other one because I actually went too fast in this video like a dipstick, but Anyway, you can pause the video, see what I put on there, and you can put that on your same class. Because this class, I'm telling you right now, is really good. I use that class for Team Deathmatch, but I mostly will use this gun for, like, um, uh... Yeah, I use this gun mostly, mostly for Search and Destroy. Because this gun originally melts people. And I'm going to give y'all a little bloopers reel when I shit on a guy, like, literally shit on him. Like, I don't know what the fuck was he doing, but I literally shit on him. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Like and subscribe to the video.